Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick. Awesome Games Done Quick is a Games Done Quick event held every year in January featuring members of the Speed Demos Archive and Speedruns Live communities. SDA proudly hosts speedruns of over 1,000 games with forums containing speedrun planning and marathon discussions. SDA welcomes gamers old and new alike. You can follow them on Twitter at SDA Speedruns and visit the website at speeddemosarchive.com. SRL is the best site to race video games online against other players of all skill levels. They're also hosting a short series of races starting on January 17th titled Get Yourself Speedrunning. You can go to their front page, speedrunslive.com, for more information and to watch a variety of speedrun streams. For more information about Games Done Quick, you can follow at Games Done Quick on Twitter and see information about the event on gamesdonequick.com. All Money Raised goes towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation. It is a nonprofit organization that focuses on prevention and early detection of cancer via research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their staff has worked towards this goal in countries such as China, South Korea, Australia, Canada, England, and other countries spanning a total of six continents. PCF has invested over $138 million over the last 29 years and funded more than 480 grants and fellowships. A huge thank to all our sponsors here at Games Done Quick. Somethingartistic.net offers decals and stickers made to decorate your consoles, walls, computers, and more. Two dollars from every decal sold this week is being donated directly to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You can find all their decals, including some designed for GDQ, over at decal.ly. Since 2005, World 9 Gaming has been the premier computer and console gaming provider for events across the Midwest. With dedicated staff, tournament expertise, and an expansive collection of games and consoles, they guarantee the best gaming experience at the lowest cost for all events, large and small. Check them out at world9gaming.com. Tiny Build Games is an indie developer morphed into an indie publisher. They partner up with indies across the world to help better their games as well as develop games themselves. Check them out at www.tinybuild.com and check out their game, Speedrunners, available in the AGDQ 2015 Humble Bundle. And check out the awesome Games Done Quick Humble Bundle at humblebumble.com. Hey, what do you want for up to nine games? A Twitch Turbo subscription, a subscription to XSplit Premium, and exclusive merchandise, all while supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. That's humblebundle.com. The Yeti is a t-shirt site featuring an awesome new design every 24 hours for a low price. The Yeti has partnered with us for AGDQ 2015, offering an array of shirts from every unit sold going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Check out the collection at theyeti.com slash A-G-D-Q. That's T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E -E -E dot com slash A-G-D-Q. And Turtle Beach transforms your gaming world with a selection of cutting-edge technologies, creating a product that completes your high-definition gaming experience and puts you a step up on the standard headset competition. Check them out at turtlebeach.com. Right away, we have a $100 donation from Program Max, who says, wish I could join. Good luck to all the racers on this Pile of Wings race. Thank you. And a reminder to everyone, we have a couple donation incentives coming up. We're looking to raise $2,000 towards a Pokemon Green Run that'd be run by Shenanigans, and we would play that immediately after the run by Worcester. We're at $20 of $2,000, so get those donations in if you want to see that run. And we've also just added a run to name the file of Ocarina of Time. Eight character limit max. It's very low. If you want uh, the name for Ocarina of Time file, you have a very good shot at getting it if you donate now. You're watching Games Done Quick, and we're about to start a Pilot Wings 64 race between Graviton, Scion, and Derek Clark.
No. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> we have sound. I think they get, that's that's on their end, yeah. Oh, cool. Better. Alright, well I got it's the speaker. Well nice going dude. Both of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. Um, can you get back to where you were? We might need... He, he changed his channel input again. Uh, Dude, I did the same exact thing. We got a couple yeah. of tech wizards racing yeah, me. I think he's got it. I was actually really mad. You might need to be on channel uh, 3, though. Oh, okay, you're good. At the very we're last good. part. You guys, you guys oh. don't get to rub the coconut. All right, he's got the extra luck. All right. How do I move my mic? Huh? How do I move my you, mic? You have to bend it, kind of. Oh. Don't be afraid to bend it. It's fine. All right. Just turn down your turn down your volume. <laughs> What's that? I can't hear. You. Alright, yeah. Alright, guys. You ready okay, to go? Guys. Good luck, my brother. We're ready to go. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, Sion. Alright. Alright, so this is Pilot Wing 64. It's one of the, uh, the part, edi it's the uh, second edition of the Chilla speedrun around in the GDQ. Everyone behind me is already snugged up and ready to go. But uh, the, the goal of this game is to unlock the credits, and the w easiest way to do that is to uh, get a bronze medal on every tile. There's 12 tiles with a certain amount of levels in each one. So you'll see us getting these bronzes, which require an average of 70 points per level. <laughs> Got past the hard level. So yeah, we got 74 there, that's enough. These first three tiles have one level each with each vehicle. And you'll see us switching characters from time to time. They have certain uh, pros and cons with each vehicle. For the most part, you'll see us use Goose, but uh, oops, there we go. Hawk and uh, Lark have their own disadvantages and advantages as well. Goose is basically just like the all around character. Yeah. He's just really balanced in general and really just feels safe. good. To get down here. So yeah, I missed the balloon. That kind of sucks, but not a big deal. <laughs> so uh, this is the first kind of like skip in the game. We're gonna instead of taking off and flying through these rings, we're gonna just take off and immediately land. And it turns out that gives you the 70 plus you need to just continue. Pretty nice. The funny thing about how we found this out was like. Right before Derek actually got on the scene, he messaged Grav on YouTube and just <laughs> said, "Hey, why don't you try this out?" And it basically just yeah, saved so just much time. Came out of nowhere and gave well, me it the info. really it depends on the characters. It's, yeah, Hawk is a necessity for that. The other two characters are actually such that they can't take off in time to land because you need a, a long enough runway. Hawk has a little more uh, power, so he gets lift quicker and takes off. 
and likewise you can land them faster. And you'll, you'll see that in several other levels throughout the run. So yeah, this, this level you just shoot the three targets and land, and you notice that um, I talked about the instant land earlier, we're going to be doing it hopefully on the next level, and we need 140 points to get our bronze in two levels in this tile. So we're going to want 100 points here, hopefully, and then 40 on the next, and that'll give us our 140. But if one of us make a mistake, we might have to change up our uh, route bit. I'm uh, Sion. My name's Graviton. And I am uh, Imperfect Clark, or Derek Clark. Perfect Clark. Couch, you wanna? Oh yeah, that's right, okay. I always forget that. Um, this is Naguaria, <laughs> Adam AK, uh, Laz, Pi, and License to Bill. Nice. Uh, the oh, coconut's, coconut. the most, the My coconut's bad. most important. Do it again. Alright, so here's another instant land. It's a little tighter. I got 97. This instant land is important because you need the perfect score. Like, there's only 40 points available to, uh, to get, so you can't miss a single one if you want to get your 140. And this should be 40. It so is I indeed. have to, uh, yeah. I did not get a perfect landing there, so I have to do a slightly different strategy here to get the points I need. We actually uh, are doing a different route than the reset efficient route because usually we do the gyrocopter levels first because they're generally the more harder ones and we just kind of want to get it out of the way. But in the marathon, we feel like it's way better just to do this route because it's more funner to watch, to be honest. It's way funner. Yeah, as you can see there, it's kind of hard to tell where you're at on those uh, vertical rings. The depth perception in this game is a bit hard to grasp with the uh, current graphics, but usually uh, with practice you can get it. I want to land pretty well here because again we're going to skip the next level. A lot of this game has to do with skips, whether it's full level skips or halfway. In this instance we're going to do a full level skip going right to the end. We've got 100 points on the last level and we need 40 again. So I'll get to 40 with the landing here hopefully and we'll be good to go. So we're getting uh, one donation here? We have $64 from DNTN31. He says, this donation is for my friend Derek, and good luck during his pilot wings race. Wish to be able to make it out there and show my support in person. Shoutouts to all of the elite crew. I'm looking forward to Gold Knight Perfect Dark in track and field 2000. P.S. I'll donate another $9.41 for every 60-point picture achieved by any of the three players during the race. So you see me diving here. Diving is a very important mechanic with the glider. We see me see us doing it quite a bit. And the most important way to dive is to do it in thermal current, which is these orange circles on the mini-map. They just uh, lift you up in the air with the thermal draft. And you can exploit this by getting massive speed, like I just did there. And it's, it's a tricky maneuver. It takes quite a bit of finesse. And each character is a little bit different with it. And they each have their advantages and disadvantages. Will I get burned here? Because if you don't, you're pretty much screwed for the rest of the speed run. <laughs> Getting burned is just a fun thing to do. It doesn't actually change anything. You don't lose points. But... Oops. There we go. So yeah, I needed 90 points because you need 50 points on this level. Or you can only get 50 with these rings here. And if you have 90 plus, then you can uh, just kill yourself here. It's a pretty nifty time skip. You're going to see uh, me and Graviton hit a wall, but it actually matters how you hit it, because if you splat, which is a trick where you instantly die, he didn't get it, which costs yeah, time because he has to watch a cutscene, and I just got it. That's a spot. Really That's not much good. you can do, except just aim and pray. Yeah. Sion was lucky enough to get it. Complete luck, no skill. It's about four seconds, I think, four or five. It's a, it's a trick you want to get, for sure, but it's not really something you can control. We've tried to find setups for two years, and we've been fair. Unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do some very uh, precise time based inputs here to maximize our speed and elevation during these thermal currents. This is one of the major differences between this game and when it was in SGDQ 13, is this level was significantly faster because of the glider boost tech. 
Yeah, I think it's it's uh, over 30 seconds faster than it used to be. So there's a lot of time to be gained by maximizing the boosts. So I also got the bad animation here. Yeah, the goal of this level is just to get to 400 meters and then land once you finish finish that. And so we'll be getting that in this last thermal here. I actually use a different character here. They're very sim similar, ultimately in time, it's just a preference. Yeah, there's a lot of very minor differences between characters on certain levels that just comes down to runner's preference and how comfortable they are. In this case, I like Goose, because Goose is cool. Yeah, I like Goose way too much to try out These other guys characters. like Goose a lot. <laughs> what can't, what's there not to like about Goose, man? He's just the Dude, he's real just, American here. Yeah, hero. American. USA represent. <laughs> Alright, All right. so yeah, this level is kind of tricky. You need a picture of a whale and a fountain. Shoutouts to the whale. Shoutouts to BJW. <laughs> That's a very uh, important part of this uh, level. But the harder part, I think, is coming up. We need a picture of this fountain as we land. So we need to be slow enough, but not quite too slow so that we take a picture and still are able to land in the center here. And we want 90 points about. You can get 80 if you got 100 on the one before, but 90 is a good mark to shoot for. So here we go. All right, I think I'm good. This level used to be so much harder, like way harder. But We're pretty uh, neck and neck. Okay, 90, good. That's pretty good. Cool. Cool. Good race. <laughs> Same sport. Sorry. So yeah, the uh, original goal of this level was really bad for a speedrun. You're supposed to uh, fly for three minutes and land as close to three minutes as possible. So obviously that's like the worst thing ever, and we uh, are able to skip it because we have 180 points or more on the previous two levels. And the landing itself here gives 30 points maximum, so that's why you need 180, because you need 210 to progress with your bronze medal. We have $135 in memory of Marche's grandpa who was lost last June of cancer. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all your hard work. And thank you. And there's 220. All right. So this is kind of the start of the more technical uh, rocket belt levels and technical levels in general. This level has a couple uh, groups of balloons that are encapsulated in these mother balloons, I guess you can call them. <laughs> Five balloons will come out, and you need to pop all five. The first set is pretty simple. They all just fall down and bounce back up. But in the second set, they will bounce and will start hitting all the uh, buildings and stuff around and go all over the place. So hopefully they go in a good pattern. They can go in a pattern that's really bad. But I got a good pattern there. So it's very manageable. And I hit this here. And go right through this. We have to actually get 97 here for the next level. Yeah, for the optimal strat, you need 97 because you can get 13 points with these three rings coming up. And that will allow us to get 100 points on the next level for our 210. All right, and now we can just kill ourselves. Another intentional uh, this. I missed the last ring. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really easy to miss the, the third ring because it's spinning so fast. And in that case, you just go to land. It's a bit slower, but a uh, very safe backup plan. And you're going to be seeing Grab do this level. We actually, me and Derek, do a glitch, which allows us to get 100 points, like, immediately after, like, 4 seconds. Or four, uh, 40 seconds because we want to wait for our field to completely get out or just empty. And what that causes is basically for us to crash and we have to land on our side. I don't really know specifically why it happens, but it just gives you 100 points if you lose all your fuel and just crash. And this is actually the reason why we're using the Japanese version of the game. It's only 
on this version that you can do it. Yeah, I, I have no idea why it works, but the fact that it works is pretty funny because it's, it's a funny looking glitch. So yeah, I got 38 there. It's a bit faster to do it normally like I did. And yeah, if you do it's definitely glitch, pretty, yeah. pretty tough, but grabs, you know, pretty fast on that level, so you can... Yeah, the glitch you get like about seconds. 41 seconds is average. It's a very easy glitch. So this is kind of where our, our routes kind of change. I think Grav likes doing River Run more comfortably, so I like doing Metal Horizon first, which is a very tough level, so... Yeah, like the routes within the tiles, it's all kind of just preference. Like, the best way to do it for consistency's sake is to do the level that, uh... Uh, varies the least first and end with the, ver the level that varies the most. So like if you miss points in the hard levels first, you can end up changing your route for the final level depending on if you need this many points or this many points. You want the one that has the most like malleability in the strats to last, but I'm fairly confident in my ability regardless, so uh, I don't need to worry about it. Not. This level, there's not much to it. You just fly through the rings. It looks kind of difficult, but it really isn't that bad. And, and as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, American icons because this map is actually a miniature United States. It has like the uh, the Space Needle and the St. Louis Arch and the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, a bunch of other stuff. Pretty cool. This is a pretty bad Metal Horizon at a turn down to, or turn around twice. Yeah, Metal Horizon is in definitely one of the most difficult levels of the game. And if you miss one target, you often have to spend a good 15, 20 to turn around. And it's not very fun, but I'll see what happens when I get there. So I'm actually going in the same order that the Graviton's going. It's just the preference. Yeah, the point window on this uh, tile is actually fairly wide, so you don't have to worry nearly as much about like making your uh, backup strats later in the uh, tile. One of the key parts of this of figuring out what routes we wanted to use is determining how much risk to take on landings, um, and kind of reduce how many how much time we have to spend getting rings and doing other things. Yeah, what what Sion did there, I think he uh, ended up outside of the landing strip and if that happens you lose all your points so you definitely can't have that happen if you want enough points to continue it's a pretty unfortunate thing to happen but Let's see if I can eat around this no, I guess not I'm having my own troubles on this level it's not the best do my best to back up strat this uh, the ability to improv is much harder to do with Hawk and I uh, probably should have used use but I was taking a bit of a chance to uh, not have to waste time changing characters because it takes about four seconds to do and again my landing here wasn't you know there's you don't need a terrible amount of points it's actually not needed That's a much better Metal Horizon for me. Yeah, Scion had a bad uh, landing, but I also had a very, very bad, just general Metal Horizon. So, we are still indeed neck and neck. So you need to get at least two meters there. I had to quit out because I did not reach the minimum two meters elevation or altitude to, uh, to pull this landing off. Yeah, the game, uh, for some reason, requires you to go above a certain uh, pipe to uh, register that you've actually done taken, the level. Taken off, basically. Yeah. Alright, need 13 points here. And you can get 40, I think, is the max on this level. Yeah. So you can get a really bad landing and still be okay. So again, with these are a combination of three tests that make up one medal, ultimately. Bronze, silver, gold. And we're all kind of going in different orders right now, but we're about to sync up again. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten that Cyan did not do River Run first, so I was mistaken when I said we were neck and neck, but there's still an insanely, amount, insanely high amount of opportunities to catch up, because this upcoming tile is definitely the most difficult, man. There's 
several opportunities to restart at the very end if you uh, should miss a couple points that you need. The, the stride I'm going to use is pretty crazy. I'm going to need a perfect landing on all three levels, ideally. One of the hardest things to do in the game for sure, especially with the gyrocopter. So we'll see what happens. You have to shoot 20 of these balloons here, and uh, it used to be thought impossible to shoot all 20 in the, you know, without having to turn around, but with some careful uh, routing and lots of practice, we found a uh, good way to shoot all 20 without having to turn. Definitely regulating your speed a bit is a way you can make it a lot easier. That was definitely very good. Yeah, the main reason I did bad on Metal Horizon is because I didn't I forgot to slow down early. So maintaining your speed on the gyrocopter is one of the most important things to do in many levels. Especially for landing, because so many landings are so precise. I'm gonna go right in here. Hopefully that's 100 points. That's one of the three perfect lands I'll need. Can't, so can't breathe yet. All right, so I'm priority. like 20 seconds behind uh, Derek. So yeah, this level is what you're normally supposed to do is shoot Mecha Hawk. He's a uh, robot that is looks just like me except he's giant and he runs around. Well, in this case, he's he like swims, and uh, he's very, very random. Let's just say, so he's it would take like three minutes to do him probably. So that's very good that we can just skip him like this. And so what you saw me just do there is the runway is actually too short. The runways decrease in length as the uh, levels get harder, so you don't have enough room to do the uh, traditional instant land that we were doing before. So that's why I had to like taxi turn on the ground afterwards. It saves about 10 seconds compared to just taking off and doing a 180. But it's also a lot more difficult to perform. So I'll try to do that exact same maneuver again. Kind of just random how your uh, gyrocopter behaves when you land because you're not supposed to be able to land in the manner that you are. This could be 60, it could be 59. If it's 59, I'm gonna have to restart, which would be unfortunate, but expected 58. Yeah, two points short. I need my 210, I got 208. So, one of the hardest parts of the game. I'm not too sad that I messed that up. Try it again though. Me and Derek are going to be doing a uh, three ring strat, which is basically just getting three rings for complete safety. While yeah, we have the like six, taking a very we can lose up to six strat. points over these three three tests. Yeah, it looks like I'll probably just do that myself. You know what it looks like because you saw it in the um, the previous level. So uh, I'm just going to end up doing what they're doing for consistency's sake. It's kind of tricky to. Because what happened to me is I kind of got stuck in my animation and I wasn't able to take off. So I would have been locked in that animation as I was driving on the uh, runway. It kind of sucks. So for us to have a few restarts here and there is not totally unexpected. Yes. It's, it, it, it's all just kind of a judgment for us of how f much risk we wanted to take, more or less, to you know, maximize our time without having uh, catastrophic mistakes. Yeah, that's why this game is fun. You can just go bounce or back and forth, back and forth, depending on if you're able to nail your risky strats or not. I'll try to land right in the middle here. Don't need to be exactly though, because I do have a few rings of the buffer. That should be good though. We'll see what Scion is able to do. I, I may be. Yeah, you might be a bit short. We'll I see. need at least sixty. It's kind of a guessing bad. game. I probably got like sixty-five, which is. I am still alive, oh my goodness. Nice, dude. That's very fortunate. Yeah, like you have a general idea how many points you're going to get, but sometimes uh, a game likes to surprise you, and it's very complicated how the game calculates. But for this part, I need to actually focus. This is a really hard level. I just yeah. realized I should not be talking. That is probably one of the hardest levels in the game. Me and Derek are pretty much tied up now, so... I think I'm completely good so now. So far, so good. Derek should be good too. He probably got 50. I 
Oh, yeah, I think I'm okay. I needed. This uh, I was need to an excellent time. 41 oh, wow. is very good. Very good. World record's like high 38, so I'll take it any day. So uh, this level is similar to the one that we used the glitch on earlier. There's a ball we have to push into a goal. But this time I'm going to use the glitch myself because the level done normally takes about a minute and the glitch only takes 40 seconds. So in this case it saves quite a bit of time. And this is the Japanese exclusive glitch, so that's why we use this version. I'm taking it really slow because I know that if I hit one of these walls too hard or one of these spikes too hard, I'm going to completely kill myself. I'm actually intentionally hitting that wall so I can get down here easier. Alright. Sometimes if you're really, really unlucky, you'll bounce in the perfect way such that you don't actually connect with the ground and activate the glitch, but I haven't had it happen at the uh, minimum height that you must fall to die, so hopefully it doesn't happen to anyone else. So I was even more concerned in sign. They got a little slower in this level. Yeah, I need 10 points for my 210, and I'll just land here for the uh, easy, I think, 30 or 40 points. 40, okay. A lot of levels um, differ on terms of impact, accuracy, uh, completing the level as fast as possible, completing or uh, destroying objects and such like that. So every level is different in that matter. So like we might take one landing like uh, a level coming up super safe, or we might take another landing like really easily like a bullseye because it's very easy. In now, terms just to of reiterate landing. what's going on with this this glitch, I mean, you basically again you just climb to the minimum altitude you need to die when you land without fuel, and you're like defaulted to 100 points apparently. So you just snaps back to 100. So this final glider tile is actually unique in that routing is different than what you've seen previously. Normally we get like 100, 120 for our 210 plus. In this case, we're going to do two levels halfway. So it's kind of different and it just happens to be faster. There's several other routes that are very close in length, just doing certain levels, you know, two thirds of the way. Or... Exploring routes on, on, yeah, the, on this group of tests was a pretty big project for all of us. Yeah, it turns out, after using some of the uh, thermal tech, that uh, doing this level in full is really, really fast and also consistent, which is important for marathon performance for sure. So I'll do my last little thermal boost here. So we're on, again, the final three tests. We want as much points as possible on the pitchers because it depends on the number of rings you need on the last level. We, yeah, we start here because the pictures are a big wild card, and they're gonna kind of how many points we get with those again. It dictates what routes and what strategy we use on the next levels. Yeah, if we screw up the pictures, then we have to change our route completely. So it just differs level to level. Yeah, assuming I had perfect pictures, I would get 100 points on this level since I'm doing it normally, but. They're kind of difficult to get perfectly, so it might be like 98, 99. We'll see here. And that kind of depends. Like, whatever I get will change how I approach the next couple levels. 100 points is excellent. Wow, good job. So that gives me a lot of error, I guess you can say. Like, you know, you have a certain amount of points that you shoot for with the strat that you're using, and there's a maximum that you can actually achieve with that strat. And if you uh, get a perfect on all those, that's kind of your point window. So. Uh, we'll see here a little more about that. I think this level has, or this tile has about 15 to 20 points in error. So like, if you did everything perfect, you'd still be like 15 to 20 above the actual 210 mark you need. This, that boost is a bit tricky for some reason, but I'm glad I got it. These thermal currents have like their own personalities, I swear. There, there, a lot of them have very unique approaches you must take for specific ones. And that one is the second thermal I was doing there, is one in particular. I lost a lot of speed, so this is very Should delicate be operation here. Good enough to at least get points. I'm not sure if you make it to the center. <laughs> uh, 
That's better than better than oh, crashing. I avoided it, but uh, it'll have to change his route quite a bit. That's just part of this game, man. You can't yeah, make so I'm gonna smallest to mistakes. Look at my feet here. Brutal. That was a very un uncommon area. Yeah, I went up about halfway here. I coasted on the ground there for a very long time. It kind of sucks, but got enough points to be happy with where I'm at. I need 38, and the landing in this level gives you 30, so I need two rings of five points each with a good landing to get my 40. So I'll try to do that here. I kind of want 375 just to be safe. Based on the height in this level, it gives you more points. Yeah, like the, the height you need for 100 points is like 660 meters. But so, uh, yeah, our, our primary objective is just. So this is again another compromise of kind of time, of figuring out how how much altitude we wanted. I'm also going to be taking it super slow on this because this, if you hit this at 60 uh, speed, you're basically screwed you're going to crash. While um, usually it might differ. All right, my time is coming up, assuming I have enough points here. It's, I do not know if I have enough until I see the score though. All right, my time is coming up and time. All right, cool. We'll see how Scion's able to pull this out. So I'm going to have to get a lot of rings. <laughs> how many rings do you think you'll need? I need five. Of five? Them. Okay. So fortunately, I feel like I know what I need to do. Yeah, the, the bad know. thing is getting five rings compared to the uh, two or three is quite a bit extra time because there's only like three or four rings that are within close grasp. The other ones, you have to make a bit of a detour again. Get six. Yeah, and it's good to get an extra ring, especially if you're not 100% sure you'll get a perfect landing, which is very easy to miss, obviously. All right, my time's coming up. Okay. Nice. Time. Okay. Sub 30, nice. nice. Um, Good luck for uh, Clark. <laughs> it's not over for me. Yeah, he's taking a bit of a tricky route here with this thermal, so hopefully uh, he can pull it out as well. Alright, I'm about to finish. Assuming he gets enough. Assuming he gets enough. I have to get an extra ring, so that helps. Ugh. Uh, I think they might be a little too much off. Yeah, actually, I think I'll be doing this more time. Yeah, that's, I that's <laughs> part of this game, man. You, I, you, was, I was two points short for that landing. So we're going to just make one more pass here. Hopefully, it will be level. a wrong one. One thing I didn't mention actually is uh, you saw him diving left there, and uh, we dive right on other levels, and it kind of just is random whether or not you gain speed gain going left or right. It's kind of just a, a physical quirk we don't really understand, but that'd be a great time for uh, some donations. Yeah. Yeah, we have a few more donations. Uh, Beer Snobbery gives fifty dollars and says Pilot Wing sixty four really takes me back. Thanks for running it. Chillest soundtrack ever. <laughs> Metroid Mist says uh, gives thirty dollars and says the worst kind of punishment would be making people oh save God. the oh, animals. Yeah, you don't need it. <laughs> nice 
picture. And uh, we have $50, my second donation to Sage DQ. Super excited for Pokemon, Halo 2, and Ocarina of Time. Save the animals. Thank you. Alright, let's uh, try this one more time. Yeah, don't be afraid you're gonna go to like 50 or 40 if you have to. <laughs> yeah, I just probably is better. It's time to be finished here. Keep. <laughs> alright, that should be alright. We'll, we'll see here. Yeah, that's alright. 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 Um, right. Good race. Good job. I'm glad we all uh, made it to the last group of stages together. Yeah. Sometimes we'd have races. That's just pilot wings. Place. You can't really fault, you know, too much because the game is pretty brutal when you make a mistake. So I think yeah. it was good all around. So thanks for watching, everybody. So, I hope yeah. you enjoyed. I'd like to actually take a moment also, uh, first of all, to thank these guys. We've all kind of been like working together, really talking almost every day, working on these strategies. Uh, Graviton's sort of like the father of Pilot Rings. He, he was very helpful with us. He shared his strategies. Um, and uh, also want to thank some of the guys here from uh, the Elite GoldenEye community. Thanks for coming out and supporting me and uh, dedicating this run to uh, my fiance, Lon. I mean, I'm dedicating Grav's run. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say hi to EG. That's it. <laughs> That's it. All right. Adam. I think we're uh, heading out. Thanks for watching again, everybody. All Hope right. you enjoy. Awesome. Bomber Rams, we'll thanks for watching. That was a wonderful Pilot Wings 64 race. Keep it tuned to Games Done Quick. Coming up next is Bomberman 64, run by Love Lively Raccoon, Foot Big Mike, and Tom Tron. And uh, as we go to a commercial break, I want to remind everyone to check out the awesome Games Done Quick Humble Bundle on humblebundle.com. Uh, we are really, really close to $150,000 uh, towards that Humble Bundle. We're at about $148,000 now. And when we reach that $150,000 mark, uh, that amount will be donated to the fundraising total. So uh, we could see this in the next little while, uh, that fundraising total jump up by 150,000. Humblebundle.com. Stay tuned to Games Done Quick. We'll be right back. <laughs> 